So you watched my last mod spotlight video, and now you have a load of raw clay items to bake. You don't want to do this for days, do you? Hey everybody, this is Shino. We're back in my modded test world where I get to try out and test a whole bunch of awesome mods created by some of the best mod developers. In this episode of Modded to the Max 2, we're going to build a beehive pit kiln from the mod created by Zach2039. The Beehive Pit Kiln mod is a multi-block build that allows you to fire up to 32 clay-formed items at once. Best yet, without having to spend hours cutting grass and rummaging for sticks. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I love the grind. The mod is available on the Vintage Story mod database and was last updated for version 1.18.5. Now, I'm using it on 1.18.8 without any issues, but it's important to check mods out in a test world like I do or in a backup of your own world. I keep this world as a testing area for new mods that I want to try out so I can test how they work or don't work with other mods. Since you and I probably aren't using the same mods, you may experience different results. If you find a conflict with another mod, leave me a comment down below so I can help test it out for myself. There are no config file settings for this mod. To use this mod, you need to be at least to the copper age and you need to have access to lime so you can make mortar. There are two special blocks that you'll need to craft. The fire brick grating each one of these crafts will get you three gratings and the fire brick kiln flue. In addition, you'll need another 34 fire clay bricks. Each crafting will get you four blocks. Now, once you have everything gathered up, we can get to building the structure. For the first layer, lay out five fire clay blocks in a shape like this. Now, I do recommend replacing these two center blocks with a stone material like cobble or bricks. The second layer, you will lay out a three by three pattern with a hollow center. In that center spot, place the fire brick grating. Now this level is the floor of your kiln, so this is where you'll place your raw unfired clay items. The third layer will surround the kiln floor and your unfired clay work with a ring of bricks. 12 in total, so 3 bricks on each side. The fourth layer will cover your raw items with a 3x3 three three of bricks and place the fire brick kiln flue in the center like this. Now, if you've done it right, you should get a status message like this in the block info overlay. And if you don't see the block info overlay, you can hit control B to toggle it on. Once the structure is filled and built, you need to create a fire pit under the grate and then fuel the fire pit with a fuel that can reach a minimum of 700 degrees. The process will take six in-game hours once the kiln reaches an internal temperature of 700 degrees. If your fire goes out or you break a block, the process has to start over. Now I found that to bring the kiln from zero degrees to 700 degrees and to finish the firing of the pottery used about 12 logs. Now this number could be impacted by other mods and their configurations, so your results could be different. After it is completed, you'll see a status message like this in the block info overlay. Now you can break the kiln and gather up your newly fired pottery. So what's my take on the Beehive Pit Kiln mod? On the pro side, being able to fire large amounts of pottery without the need to gather sticks and grass is a huge win. That's time that I can spend in more lucrative pursuits. And the fire clay bricks don't take damage, which means this is a one-time investment with big gains. On the con side, the structure size and shape is kind of hard to fit into a build design. You almost need to design a building around the kiln. Overall, I think the Beehive Pit Kiln mod makes a great addition to any playthrough, and especially on a multiplayer server where mega food storage and manufacturing is a must. Thanks for watching this Mod Spotlight video on the Beehive Pit Kiln mod. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, boop the like button so it can spread to more people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.